Hello, precious ones. Welcome to Kiss Time with Jesus, brought to you by COP USA. I am your host, Nina AJ. Hi, hi, children. Hi, hi, children of the Lord. Amen. Jesus, friend of little children. Precious ones, you are all welcome today. You are welcome. It is a beautiful afternoon that the Lord has made for you and I to rejoice in it. Oh, we are in the month of, of, of March. The year is really flying. We just started January and now we are in March. We thank God for the gift of life. Precious ones, you are welcome again. Call mommy, call daddy, invite a friend to sit down with you and have some fun. And we also have precious ones that have zoomed in here and are going to introduce themselves. And after that, we'll go on with our lesson. So we'll start with the first person. Hello, my name is James Ose Ampafo from PIWC, New York District. Hello, my name is Jamie Paul from the Cincinnati District. Hello, my name is Janelle Piaminga, and I am from the Greater Gray South District. Hello, my name is Shani Piaminka, and I am from Dallas District. Hi, my name is Darren Afori from Cleveland District. Hi, my name is Zuckerman Afori from Cleveland District. You are all welcome, precious ones. You are welcome to Case Time with Jesus, brought to you by COPUSA. You are all welcome. This afternoon, our memory verse, our memory verse for this afternoon will be James, um, James chapter 1, verse 5. And I read from the NLT version. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you, for accent. Amen. So I know that we have been, since we started a series of walk, we have been um, going over this memory verse over and over. There is a reason for that. I am sure by the time we are done with this uh, season uh, series, all of you will be able to recite James chapter one, verse five. And I read again, if you need wisdom, ask the generous God and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for accent. Amen. So precious ones, the whole, I think for about four weeks now, we've been talking about um, um, the walk. And every day, um, every week, we take a, um, a word from the Bible, and then we talk around that. So this series has a walk. We've already talked about walking in wisdom. We've talked about walk in truth. And um, last week we did talk about walk in love, but we did a part one, and then we are we are now in part two. So the part 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 one, we did talk about walk in love, walk in love, the walk, walking in love, and then we learned so much. And and the objective of this lesson is to learn that walking in love requires loving God first, loving others second. And then loving yourself last, right? That is the objective of this lesson. And also um, the main idea, we can't truly love others if we don't first love God with all of our being. And we must act on our love in obedience to his word. So precious ones, um, last week we, we read a lot of scriptures, right? We read James chapter 3, uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 10. We also read Luke chapter 10, verse 27. And then we read James chapter 5, verse 19 to 20, and Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. As we go on with our lesson, we'll be calling people to read for us. But you see, there are three types of love that we learn from these scriptures that was listed um, in the first slide. And the first one was God's love, God's love. We talked about God's love, right? And we said that God's love, um, the godly love is perfect. It is just, it is eternal. And it is what? Undeserved, um, undeserved. So um, after that, we also looked at uh, the neighborly love. When the neighborly love is more of humble, helpful, humble, helpful, 
sacrificial and intentional, right? And then the last one we looked at was the family love, the family love where we, we looked at the protective. Family love protects. So it's protective, dedicated, sacrificial, and then affectionate, and then affectionate. So these are the types of loves that we, we looked at, right? And then we went back to kind of go over some few things that um, we, we, we pretty much had some discussion about few things that these three types or different types of love, the way it was broken down, how we understood it last week. So precious ones that have joined us, we are having like a recap from um, what we learned last week about love. And then we are going to combine it together and, and kind of take off from today's lesson. So um, pretty much today, we, we, as we all know, we identify different types of love, right? And their characteristics. And right now, if somebody can read for us, first John chapter three, verse 10. And I know we did that, we did that last week. So I don't want us to kind of go over that because we, we may have to build on that later on. And then when we read the first John chapter three, verse 10, we realized that we, we pretty much, we read the verse and it helped us to identify uh, the neighborly love, the, the neighborly love, loving our brothers and our sisters, loving our brothers and our sisters. So these are the things that different types of love that we looked at, right? And then we also said that many, uh, we looked at how many, um, uh, we looked at how many ways or we showed uh, our neighborly, neighborly love in so many ways, right? And how it is important for us to remember that as, as believers, right? The important thing to remember in the Bible tells us that people who are willing to love others are truly children of God. I know I stress on that piece a lot. And I know that some of you, it just clicked that the important thing that I wanted all of you to remember is that the Bible tells us that people who are willing to love others are actually the true children of God. And walking in love means we will, we will seek and also be aware of the opportunities to love and others. So this was the first, this was the first point that we learned, right? If you have any question, you can hold on and then we can address that later, okay? And then the second one that we looked at, we, we pretty much based on, we put, we, we, we highlighted Luke chapter 10, verse two. Luke chapter 10, verse two, where we asked some few questions about who are we supposed to love first? And I know we talked about we loving God first, right? And then we said, how do, are we supposed to love? And we also said that with all our hearts, with all our strength, and then with all our mind. And we also asked another question, who do we love next? Who do we love next? And then we said others. So at the end of the day, we got to know that we are the love, we are the love, we need to love ourselves last, right? We need to love ourselves last. We are always required to show we love God first by clinging, by clinging to what is good and hating what is evil, right? When we cling to what is good and what is evil. And remember, precious, we really discussed about that too. So I do not want us to kind of go over and bore you. But there's sometimes, as you all know, the world will try to kind of tell us some lies about how we do not have to show any importance or even love God, but to kind of love ourselves, kind of pretty much be so selfish. But the Bible, our Bible tells us that we need to love God first, love others, and then love ourselves last, right? So then we looked at James chapter five, verse the 19, 
to the 20. And today, coming back to our lesson. Now, before we come to our lesson, I know I've been talking a lot. Does anybody have any question before I go on? Or I should go on and then we build our questions and our discussion from there. <clears throat> we should go on. Okay, fantastic. So as we just um, did a recap, um, I want somebody to open their Bible to Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. And we are going to learn something from there. If you are there, you can read for us. Who's going to read for us? Uh, Auntie Nina, Thanks, I'm there. You can go. Okay. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10, and I read, God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. Amen. 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 Precious one, God sees, God remembers, and God reward us when we walk in love, right? So how do we show God we love him? How do we show God that we love him? Everybody should be able to tell me something. How do we show God that we love him? Remember, let me give you a scripture. It says that if you love me, obey my commandment, right? So this is a clue. How do we show God we love him? Yes, um, Jaden, your hand was up. Um, you can tell the truth. By telling the truth, by telling the truth, good job. Yes, Janelle. We can, love, we can show that we love God by, like you said, obeying his commandments and doing what is right. Obeying his commandment and doing what is right. God bless you, fantastic. Yes, Jaden. Oh, um, Sean, excuse me. When you, um, I believe that when you pray. When you pray, when you pray to God, you are obeying God, you are showing you love him. Yes, Darren. I believe one way you can show that we love God is by saying is by having no other gods before him. And these gods, when I'm talking about gods, I don't mean idols and statues. I mean like what we shouldn't think of other things higher than God. Like nothing should be more important to you than God. Because when you read Exodus chapter 20, the verse 3 says, You shall have no other gods before me. God bless you, Darren. God richly bless you. We should not serve any other God but me. We have precious ones, a lot of kids today that they are clinched to their video games, they are clinched to their Nintendos, they are clinched to um, something they love so much. You are worshiping, that is your idol you are worshiping. Why? Because you spend more time with it than anything else, right? Or your laptop or your tablet or your Kindle Fire, you spend more time with that it becomes your idol, right? But if you want to show God you love him, then do you have to spend time with your Kindle, your tablet, your Nintendo, the things you love so much than God? Because remember, the, the Bible tells us that we should love who first? God. We should love God first. We should love God first. God richly bless you. We should love God first. So that is something that we need to pay attention to. Now, we should never pretend to love others simply to be uh, pretty much to be noticed or to gain rewards. Do we agree that we should never pretend to love others simply because we want to, 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 to show off, we want people to know that we, we, we are loving, you are pretending to love this person, you are pretending to to be good to this person because of a reward. Oh, you know <laughs> how sometimes mommy and daddy will take you somewhere, right? And then they know that you're not gonna be nice. Then they tell you, when we get here, I want you guys to be nice. When we go home, I'm gonna give you guys a treat. So just smile and just, just put up your best behavior. Who can relate to that? 
Everybody can relate to that, right? And it's just, it's just because it's sometimes it's not just be, not being pretending. Sometimes it's just that maybe you are hungry and you want mom to buy you Chick-fil-A. And mom and dad is like, okay, let's go visit this person before on our way home, I'll buy you the Chick-fil-A. But because you're hungry, you get upset, right? You don't even want to smile. When you're hungry, you don't even want to smile because it takes energy to smile, right? And you have no energy because you're hungry, right? And there are times that you just have to pretend to be nice. That is not the love that God wants us to show. God is saying that we shouldn't pretend to love just because we want a reward or just because we just want people to know that we are being nice. But we should show, look, we should show love what? Naturally, right? Just as God loves us, we should show our love naturally, right? And that is very, very, very important. Showing love. There is this scripture that I was reading and I just want to share with us. I know it's going to be long, but I was just, there are a few things that I want us to take and then we're going to build our discussion on. And when you read Ephesians, Paul said that, therefore, be followers of God as dear children and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling word, aroma. And you can get this in Ephesians chapter 5. Verse one to two. Precious ones, I want you to note a few things down. And when we're done, we will look at it. You see, those who love God are followers or imitators of God as his, what? As his dear children, right? Beloved children that donate or pretty much, I would say donate. Children that devote themselves, that they will be followers of God they what they do what God asks them to do. They do what God wants them to do, right? And I know this afternoon, you and I are going to be what? Because we are followers of Christ, we are going to imitate him. We are going to follow him and do what he did, right? There are so many things that God did in the Bible that you and I know. And God is telling one basic one that we are all learning this afternoon is love. Loving God first, loving others, and loving ourselves last. And because God loves us, we love him. Therefore, we imitate him as dear children. Precious one, I just want you to take a moment, right? And think about God. Think about his goodness. Hmm. Think about his mercies towards you or mankind. Think about his kindness. Think about God's love and grace. I want you to start thinking. Think about his love to give Jesus as a sacrifice for our sins. I want you to think about Jesus' love for us to die on the cross, to imitate God is to be like God. That's to love him. God is love. Jesus left an example for us. If you read 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2, right? And Paul commands us to imitate him as he imitates what? Christ. Paul wants us to what he commands us to imitate him. In him, we need to imitate him, just like he imitated what? Christ. Precious ones, we need to know that we are to love as children. We need to start thinking about trusting ourselves, right? Pretty much, we need to, um, I take that back, we need to think about trusting what? Love, loving young people, pretty much loving your brother, loving your sister, loving your neighbor, loving anybody, including your enemies, right? We need to start loving them. Why? Because that's what God wants us to do. And since we are imitating Christ, we need to do that, right? So 
Precious ones, I don't want to be long-winded. But Jesus is an, is an example of walking in love. Right? He is a perfect example of walking in love. Loving is giving oneself as a servant. I want you to know, know this. Loving is giving oneself as servant in obedience to God, which is the offering and sacrifice to him. I'm going to stop here. It looks like Auntie Nina is the only one talking here. Now, remember, we, I said a lot about thinking about the mercies of God, thinking about the goodness of God, thinking about his love for us, his mercies, his grace. Now, precious ones, how can you show love? If we say that we are followers of Christ, if we say we are followers of, of, of our living God, and we, God is an example, we are living an exemplary life, of our God, Jesus Christ. Then, how do we show love? Or how do you understand love? You can give us a biblical example or you can give us a practical example. Yes, the floor is open. Yes, um, Janelle. Um, I think that you can show love by showing others that you can that you can be there for them and that you care about them. Fantastic. Showing love means what? Janelle is saying that let us somebody know that you love them, you care about them, right? You love them and you care about them. If you are walking down the street and somebody approaches you and says, I love you and I care about you. That's really touching, right? Yes, James. I was going to say that one way we can show that we love God is by listening to his word, like when we're reading the Bible and like when God speaks to us, he says that if you love me, you'll be in my command. So by listening to God and by listening to what he tells you, that can be your way of loving him. Amen. Amen. By listening to him, by obeying, obedience. Obeying and listening to God, right? By you, you can show love to Christ by listening to him. Fantastic grace. Um, James, God richly bless you. Yes, Jaden. Sometimes you can love, all the time you can love God by following his commands and, and sometimes respect and so. Sometimes expecting no award. Fantastic. Fantastic, James. We can love, we can show love to God by obeying his commandment. God richly bless you, um, Jaden. Yes, Declan, and then Darren. Uh, so, uh, so we can love God by, well, uh, well, by obeying his command, such as says in first, First John chapter five verse two. Mm -hmm. This is how we know that we love the that we love the children of God by loving God and carrying out His commands. So just like you said that when that when we love God, we obey His commands. We should when we truly love God, well, we do and obey and read His commands. Fantastic, Darren, Declan. God richly bless you. And thank you for sharing the scripture with us. God bless you. Yes, Darren. Um, I think one way we can love God is as it says in Matthew chapter 25, verse 40 to 45, that whatever you did for the least of these, you should do for you, sh you did for me. So one way we can love God is by well being kind to everyone around us. And whenever you see someone who needs help, like an elderly is crossing the road. Why not help the person out? Whenever you see someone is looking at the food store, you can tell that they want some of the food, but they don't have the money for it. You can give them some of the money. You should just help them out because then when you reach heaven, you'll be rewarded for it. Amen. Amen. God richly bless you. God richly, richly bless you. God bless all of you. Great contribution. Anybody else? No? 
Okay, so one thing that I also want us to, I'm going to read um, a sentence and then we're going to kind of debate or discuss that too, right? Jesus is an example of walking in love, right? And here we are saying that love is giving oneself as servants in obedience to God, which is an offering and sacrifice to him. We must be living sacrifice we must be leading sacrifice to God. That is when you read, it doesn't sound right, but when you read Romans chapter 12, verse one, that is how it is quoted. As we serve him by faith, right? And also in offering of what? Of sacrifice to our living God. So we can offer sacrifice to God in a form of what? Praise, giving thanks to his name and also sharing and loving one another. Precious ones. When we are walking in love as precious children, as believers in Christ, as we walk in love, what other ways? And, and the other ways is what we are seeing that when we offer ourselves as living sacrifice to the most high God, we can offer our, 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 we can offer our love to God through what? Praise and worship, through thanksgiving, through offering, through sharing, right? So that is another way of, 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 of showing love. Is there anything else anyone want to add to it? Yes, Jaden. Oh, and you can show love with Jesus on Christmas. What did he say? And you can show love to Jesus on Christmas. You can show love to Jesus on Christmas. But Jesus is born on Christmas, right? So that's when you show love, big love to Jesus on Christmas. Fantastic answer. Anyone else? No one? Yes, Janelle. Um, today at church, the pastor was reading something that was in Luke. I forgot the verse, but it said that um, those who love me are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Those that love, what can you say that again? Those that love me are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Those that love me are those that hear the word of God and obey it. Hmm. Do we understand? Do we want to share our thoughts on that? Those that love me are those that what? Hears and obey. Did I say right, Janelle? Let's just discuss that. Who understand that sentence? Yes, Declan. Well, I understand it in this way that uh... According to First John chapter sixteen, at First John chapter four verse sixteen, it says this, and so we and so we know and rely on the Lord and on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God, and God is in him. So this is what I understand is that those who love God and show and show love to others. Well, since love is in you, then God is in you. Fantastic. God bless you. Yes, Darren. Uh, I, can I can you say the verse again? I forgot what Declan was saying. It's mixed up. It's mixed up with what I heard. Those who love God obey my commands. Is that it? Those who love God obey my commands. Um, Janelle, can you repeat that for Darren, please? Those who love me are those who hear the word of God and obey it. And I think what that means is that when you hear the word of God, you shouldn't just be today in church. We let all of this. And after this, he did altar call. I'm officially a, I'm officially a son of God or a daughter of God. Good. Now the next day you are doing all the things usually, all the sins you usually used to commit. That isn't what God meant. I believe what he meant was that you listen to it and then 
Some souls maybe sometimes may fall, but you listen to it and you try your very, very best to do what it says. So if God says that um, don't lie, don't lie. If God says that don't like don't don't try to don't like misuse his name don't do it if god says don't say like give false testimony on other people for other on other people if god says don't give false testimony don't do it god bless you who want to add to it so i was looking yes james and then janelle so um when she was saying about the thing i was saying that shows how we love god because if you listen to god and you obey god that shows that you love him because god is supposed to be our father right and the way we show our respect to our parents and the way we show our respect to our our, our like we show respect and love to our parents is by listening to them when they tell you to do something you do it with humility and you do it with diligence and and because you listen to them and did it that's what shows that you respect them and that you love them so listening to god shows that we love him because we're treating him with the respect that he deserves because he's our father amen 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 god bless you james god richly bless you yes janelle um what i got from the verse is that when you hear the word of god you should you should apply it to your your daily life and not just that one day so you shouldn't just listen it one day and just do good one day or love one day and then the next day you go back. But it is something you need to practice and work with for the rest of your life, pretty much, right? Now, um, when you look into the uh, volume one, he is my father's God or my own God, the apologetics for children written by our apostle uh, Michael Amwako. When you look at the page 19, it talks about the loving God, right? The loving God. And there's something that I want us to listen. It says that God, God is a God of love. In fact, he loves everyone that he created, but especially children. Hmm. He loves everyone he created, but especially children. He loves children's, uh, children more, right? So, wow, you, we, you children are so unique and special. Hmm. Okay, I don't want to say I wish. I won't say that. Okay, so Jesus has shown love to children several times in the Bible. And at some point, he requested for the children to come close to him, right? And he said, Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these and you can get this in matthew chapter 19 verse 14 god is not like the gods of others other religions who are so judgmental and also wicked and angry and hateful god is loving towards his creators he wants to share a personal relationship with us <coughs> excuse me first john chapter 4 talks extensively about God's love. Not just that God has love, but that he is love. So take the time and open your Bible to 1 John chapter 4 after this lesson and read. And you will realize that God is, is not what has, God just don't have love, but what? He is love. He is love. So loving one another, walking in love. And we said that we are what? We are imitators of Christ. And God loves little children so uniquely, right? You and I, God loves us so much. But he loves little ones more. So precious one, we should never pretend to love others simply because what? We want to be noticed or gain reward. But we should rather know that God knows our motives when we act in love towards others. God knows our motive when we love or we act in love towards others. So we need to make sure our goals or our goal is to please him, God, and not to get attention or praise from others. 
right? We should learn to have a genuine heart. We should learn to have love people genuinely and not pretend because what? We want people to see us what? Like we are loving somebody, but indirectly, we don't even love the person. Do you think that people do that in our time? Do you think we have people that pretends to be nice, but they are not? Who want to share with us? Any personal example? We're bringing our lesson to an end. So we just need two or more examples and we'll be done. Yes, um, Janelle, and we'll go to Declan. Um, so, like, when you pretend to be nice. So when I was little, like in third grade, I had a friend and since I used to help her with stuff, she'd be nice to me and like compliment me and be my friend. And then one day, like she, I couldn't help her with the work and then she just decided to befriend me. So um, what, I learned, what I got from that was that um, there are people that pretend to be nice, but they're actually not, so be careful. God bless you. Thank you for sharing with us. Yes, Declan. I don't really have like a personal. Um, okay. Share with but, us what you want to share with us. Uh, but in, uh, in the New Testament, in Matthew, or we'll look somewhere, it's Jesus said this to the Pharisees that, that they were hypocrites because they seemed to, to be nice in the outside. They loved in the outside, but in the but in the in the inside, the world they were full of darkness. They didn't listen. They so basically, what I understand from it is as it says in as it says in First John chapter chapter five chapter five verse six verse six verse five. Mm -hmm. Who is it that it becomes? So, uh, sorry, but it says in First John there about that. Well, if a, if you if you are brother or sister and you love yet he, you love on the outside yet hates a brother or sister, well then you don't really love. Amen. 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 God bless you. Yes, uh, Darren. Wait. Oh wait. So did it? Sorry. Um, what I wanted to, what I'm going to be saying is that whilst I, I also don't have like someone who sort of betrayed me, but I think um, Jesus and Samson and Delilah, because with, Deli with Delilah, for example, I don't know why Samson couldn't tell she was trying to be checked, but anyway, with Delilah, we, when we read, at first, Delilah was a bit hesitant, but because of money. She decided to pretend to like Samson and all that much. Tell us how she really liked Samson because after she betrayed Samson and made sure that, well, in the end, Samson died a very sad death. After that, he could, she couldn't even use the money. It says... No, okay. So it's when after Samson reached the 1100 shekels, 1100 shekels of silver, all of these things, all, all of these things, that is what she gained. And out of that, she couldn't choose a single penny. I'm not sure they use pennies. She couldn't use like the lowest currency of it because after that, she it turned out that she really liked Samson. But because she betrayed Samson, you never had him back again. Then there is there is the same with um, Judas. In the end, after he realized what he had done, he went and hanged himself. So betraying people, it, always, it, it never ends well. God bless you. God bless you for sharing with us. Yes, who else? Um, Jaden. Um, my sister, like when we go to someone's house or a place, she like pretends to be nice and like, I don't know why. And, and then that's when, when and usually at home, she, yesterday, she like hit me. <laughs> yeah, that is, it's more of little, little kids. They do that a lot. They do that a lot. 
And because they are kids, that's why they don't know when they are pretending and when they are being real, right? It's because precious ones, little kids, toddlers, they, are, they, they don't know what they are doing, right? But God bless you for sharing with us. Now, walking in love requires selfless and sacrificial love that is freely given to God and others. We should love God. We should show God we love him by loving others and he will reward us for our obedience. We have to show God that we love him by loving others. Remember, we're supposed to love God first, love others second, and love ourselves last, walking in love. And then in summary, in conclusion, we, when we are walking in love, it requires that we have a selfless and a sacrificial love that is freely given to God and others, right? And then also freely given to God and then others. And then we also have to show God we love him by what? By loving others. And he will reward us for our obedience. Precious ones, this is what we have learned this afternoon. Walking in love, showing love to one another. Showing loving, we saw the um, godly love, the neighborly love, and then the family love. But in all of this, we need to love God first. Our first love is God. And then after that, we need to love others second. And then the others means your friends and your enemies, right? People you can't even stand. They are part of it. And then lastly, you need to love yourself last. May the Lord bless his word this afternoon. We know you have learned a lot about love. Finally, we have finished the, the part of the love. Next week, God willing, we'll be doing the last series. The last series, that is walking in faith. Walking in faith. So that is the last series that we'll be doing and we'll be done with the series of the walk. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you safe. May you have a fantastic week till we meet and we, oh, I see you all again. Until then, it's bye for now. I love you all. Bye. 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 I love you. Bye.